Having a lot of virtual instruments is very cool and it gives you a wide variety of sounds, but it can be a pain to find every instrument that you're looking for and then going through that instrument to find the specific sound that you're looking for. Arturia's Analog Lab 5 is here to make your life easier and full of vintage classics like Moog's you've got. Juno's in there, ARPS, and so many more. So let's check out how Archeria's Analog Lab 5 can be a welcome addition to your studio or even your live performances. It's available on Mac or Windows in VST, VST3, AU, and AAX formats with a regular price of $199, but at the time of recording this, it's just $99 over on Plugin Boutique. Links down in the description. So this is what the user interface looks like when you first open it up. And I should also mention that you can use this in standalone mode as well. So you don't even need to load it into a DAW. You can just load it up on your computer and use it that way, which could be good for performance. And we're going to get more into that in a bit. But just looking at this user interface, you can see how easy it could be to find some presets right away. If you're looking for a base, of course, you click on base, keys, leads. You have all of these things that you could quickly click on. And then you could go in here and find a sound that you want. So let's click on that. Very easy to do right there. Now we can go back and maybe there's a specific instrument you want, like the ARP 2600, you have a B3 organ. If we click show all, you can see we have lots of different instruments. So say we want a Juno 6, we'll double click on that and it's going to bring up all of the presets for the Juno 6. But maybe we're looking for something more specific than just Juno 6. Maybe we want a lead. So we can now click on leads and it's going to bring up our Juno 6 lead sound. So let's just click on one of those. Very easy to use, and you can see there's tons of sounds in here. It actually comes with over 2,000 presets, so lots of sounds in here. We'll go back to the home, and you can just have a look at all of the different instruments that you're going to get sounds from. So maybe we want a profit five. Now, another way that we can find a sound is by going to designers. And you can see there's a lot of different designers in here. And even Archuria has their own designs in here as well. So we'll click on that and it says choir. Let's check that out. <laughs> So it's a few different ways to find maybe some inspiring sounds, but what if you want to dig in a little further and make the sounds your own? Let's go with this ARP 2600, it's right here. Double click on that and let's see what this sounds like. Sure, we'll go with that 80s inspired thing here. And if we click on edit preset, that's going to bring us to this studio view. And you can see we have our different effects in here and we can adjust the settings of these effects. If we want, we can change them up. If you don't want the chorus there, you could change it to a wah pedal or something like that. Twin amp, lots of different options in here. And of course you can turn them on and off if you want as well and adjust the level of each one. So it gives you some hands-on controls for the effects. So if you already own a specific Archuria synth, you can actually go to the open and you can see we can access the full synth in here and change settings. And then if we want, we can save our preset. If we were to create a preset, you also have your advanced settings for this synth right there. So you can access the full synths if you own them from Archuria already. Now, earlier I did mention that this can help with your live performances. So maybe you're in a band and you have one song that uses an ARP 2600. We'll just load that up. And now we'll go up here, then we'll click on add to playlist, create a new playlist because I don't have one already. I would give it a name if I really needed to, but I'm just going to say new playlist. And now in here we have that and we can add more sounds in there. So let's add maybe that Juno again and we'll add this. 
All right. Now, if we go into our playlist, we have a couple of synths. So maybe we have two different synths that we use in a live show. So I'll click on this one first. And then you'll see up here, we have go on stage. And this gives you the stage view. So you have quick access to your effects in here. Plus you can quickly change between instruments. So even in the middle of a song, if we want to switch from this ARP, we can switch over to the Juno just like that. And we can access all of our settings here. And of course you can add more and more to your playlist. So you can access however many instruments you need to while performing live. Maybe it's through a live stream, live on stage, whatever it is, or maybe you just want to quickly access them when you're playing at home in the studio, you can do that. And if all of the over 2000 sounds that it comes with aren't enough, you can go into the store and there's even more that you can purchase from in there. And there's also some free ones that you can find mixed in here as well. So it is nice to go in here and check things out every now and then to see if you can find some freebies in there. There's a couple down here at the bottom and I've seen some others. There's more in there. Lots of free ones mixed in there. So let's check out some of the other instruments that are in here. We have the Korg MS-20. And let's see what we've got in here. All right, what else do we have? The big Moog modular. Then you have some other things in here like the pigments synth. So we'll click on that and we can get some cool cinematic sounds in here. Yeah, that pigments is very cool. And then you have some more of your classics in here. We'll click on, we'll click on the B3 organ. Maybe you just want a nice E piano. The stage 73 is a very nice one. Lots of instruments available to you. And this might be the only synth plugin that you need. And if you want an excellent MIDI keyboard that's pre-mapped for Analog Lab 5, you can click the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do that thing that I do down in the comments. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.